Hey everyone, Lisa Mitchell here. I would like to just show you how easy it is to make your own garden plan layout template. So first I'm in Google Slides and I just simply drew a square shape. I put in a couple of text boxes. You can of course label these however you want. And here I have my logo. Once you have your background that you want to use for your garden planner, then you will want to save it as a JPEG or PNG file. And you simply go to File and you go to Download and you can choose PNG is a little bit sharper image. Whichever one you choose, just go ahead. It will download. And I'm not going to go through that whole process, but it will be in the files. And then once you have that, you can create a new, uh, a new Google slide show and have your garden planner template inserted into your Google site. I like to keep my background separate in case I want to use it some other time. So here I have the garden planner template. I'll do a blank slide so you can see what to do to insert your background. So you would just go to uh, insert an image and upload from computer. And then you're going to just upload the garden planner background image that you chose and this way when you're dragging things around then nothing you won't move the square you won't move anything so it will stay stationary while you drag all of your other things around so this is what it looks like after i have gone in and gotten some clip art typed in some words and gotten a grid. I got this grid by just going to insert image and then I searched the web. There we go. And I just typed in grid and I found one that I liked. Now, if your garden is quite large, you can always, when you click on the grid after you've inserted it, you can, of course, go ahead and crop it to the shape that you need. You could shrink it and duplicate it. If your garden is quite large, you could put in a number of different grids. So it's pretty easy to customize if you want one square to equal one foot, for example. And then with finding the clip art that you'd like to use, you just go through the same process. Go to Insert Image and search the web. And I often like to type in the word clip art. It just depends on what style you would like to use, but I often just type in clip art and then I choose the one I like. And then what you might be thinking also is, wow, this is gonna be really hard to drag all these things over and they're a little bit large for the grid. So what you can do is you can always go into view and you can zoom in or you can go to right here the little zoom you can zoom in and once you do that then you will have a larger work area and it's easier if you would like to just go ahead and shrink your clip art and put it in wherever you like so I could shrink this, my raspberries. Um, I can go ahead and view whichever area of my slide I need to. So you can zoom, zoom in farther if you like, but once you're zoomed in, you might want to shrink all of your clip art. Another thing that you might want to do is you might want to stack your clip art uh, images on top of each other. So if I move over one, squash, I would still have a couple left over here to use. So that's just another idea. It just depends on what you would like to do with this. This is super easy to customize. I also uh, added a couple of pages with plant specifications, the width and the spacing for planting. You could choose to do that if you like. So I hope you enjoy making your own garden layout planner. I hope this explanation has helped. And I hope that you 
have something that you create that you can use over and over again that will be really useful for you. Thanks for watching.